This video about how to make wontons is the part one of a series of two videos. The first one being this one about how to, how to make wontons. And then the second one that I will publish after this video will be wonton soup. The recipe of the actual wonton soup that is super easy as well. Basically, the only time consuming moment that you will have with the wonton recipe is to make the little wontons. If you to prepare the meat and the filling, it will take you five minutes. The only thing is it will take you longer to do all of the wontons. I recommend uh, making them uh, in advance. I recommend using all fresh products so that you can then freeze it and leave it in your freezer for future future soups you know because look in this packet i don't know how many there is but it's 30 40 little wontons remember never to uh, refreeze product that has been defrosted so the meat and the prawns i bought them fresh you only want a little bit of prawns in your dish you don't want the whole prawn prawn on its own on its <laughs> I can never say that, I can never pronounce that in English, a prawn. You don't want a prawn to be too, um, you don't want it to be full. You want to just have just tiny little bits so that you can mix it well with the, um, with the, the pork. In a bowl, first add the minced meat, onions and the chopped prawns as well. Add some soy sauce and some peanut oil. I am adding some garlic and some red uh, chili peppers. You know what I forgot to put in here? I forgot to put the ginger. So you can either use uh, ginger, like in powdered ginger. I prefer to use fresh ginger. Well, fresh. What I do is I buy the ginger, then I get rid of, I peel the skin, and then I put it in the freezer. I will leave a video that I did earlier on, well, a few months ago, about how to freeze ginger because uh, it's just extremely easy. It saves you a lot of time in the kitchen and you don't have to spend too long cook doing this, you know. I'm, I'm just all for an easy life in the kitchen, to be honest. So there you are, my ginger is done. So let's remix again. Mm, it smells lovely, it really, it really does. And as you can see, it's such it's just very few ingredients and you wouldn't believe how good it is, you know. And I guess at first for me, I was always scared to do um, Asian food. I was always worried because I was worried about the ingredients. I didn't have enough, but to be honest with you, it's super, super simple. You will leave it for a little while to rest and then you start setting up um, everything for your wontons. Once again, I bought it, then I froze it, and just before using it, I've taken it out of the freezer. So there you are, it's all lovely little paper thin, and then you want to place them all so that you're going to do them all at the same time because otherwise it's just too time consuming, you know? Before anything, have a little dish with water on the side. Add one teaspoon of the filling, put it in the middle of the wonton and then with your finger you want to wet or humidify the four sides of the wonton. Then you will fold the wonton in two, making sure that you flatten the um, filling and also that the air has gone out. Do that for the remaining ones. Next step is to like make some sort of fold a little bit you want on on the side that has not been closed. Then with your fingers you want to wet them and wet wet the two opposite sides of the wonton so that when you put them on top of each other they will stick. Do this for all of your remaining wontons. You can either cook them and eat them uh, like this or if you have made a lot you can freeze them. 
I would recommend putting it on some parchment paper so that it does not stick to anything and um, you can keep it in the freezer for quite a while. I hope you have enjoyed this recipe and remember to come and meet me for part 2 and wonton soup.